friends here we are with another lecture of classical mechanics in which today we will discuss about solution of hamilton jacobi equation we have already discussed about hamilton jacobi equation here solution of hamilton jacobi equation so let's start this lecture solution of time dependent hamilton jacobi equation the time dependent hamilton jacobi equation for a holonomic system with n degrees of freedom is h plus del s by del t equals to 0 and this h is a function of qi del s by del qi and time or h is a function of q1 q2 qn del s by del q1 del s by del q2 del s by del qn time plus del s by del t equals to 0 this is a partial differential equation of first order in the unknown function s so this s is our unknown function let the complete solution of this equation be s and s is a function of q1 q2 qn alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha n t plus a here alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha n and a are independent constant of integration so these are constant of integration which we get by integrating this equation s is equal to f2 and f2 is generating function which is the function of old coordinate new moment of and time and also s equal to s plus a and s is a function of q1 q2 qn alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha n and t so if we compare these two equation it means alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha n are equal to p1 p2 pn so if we see these two equation then it is clear that alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha n are equal to p1 p2 pn it means alpha i equal to pi since pi equals to del f2 by del qi and since f2 equal to s so pi equal to del s by del qi and this s is function of qi alpha i and t thus alpha i can be determined by using the values of pi and qi at t equals to t not and what is t not t not is initial condition or initial time qi equals to del f2 by del pi and f2 equal to s so qi equals to del s by del capital pi and also qi dot is 0 so qi is constant it means qi is equal to beta i is constant or beta i equals to del s by del alpha i because pi equals to alpha i so beta i equals to del s by del alpha i thus beta i can be determined by using qi and pi at t equals to t not since beta i equals to del s by del qi at qi pi at t equals to t not and pi equals to del s by del qi at qi pi at t equals to t not in this way old coordinate and old momenta that is qi and pi can be obtained in terms of alpha i and beta i thus the hamilton jacobi technique 
is used for completely solving the problem in terms of initial coordinates and momenta because q i and p i at t equal to t naught represents the initial coordinate and initial momenta so the hamilton jacobi technique is used for completely solving the problem in terms of initial coordinate and initial momenta here we end our session in today's session of classical mechanics we have solved the hamilton jacobi equation goodbye